Hey guys, I'm Ferris, pet expert and dog trainer here for superawesomedogs.com and today we are going to learn how to potty train our dog in seven days. Right when you take your dog outside anytime, take them to the same exact spot. This is going to create consistency and your dog is going to know that this is where he goes to the bathroom. So right when your dog does go to the bathroom, say go potty. And right when they're done, make sure to praise. Give lots of love, lots of love and lots of praise. After you've gone outside with your dog and gone to the bathroom, let them have free reign of the house just so they can explore and get used to having more privileges. Have it just be short amounts of times and gradually get longer and longer. So in the beginning, just start out for about three to five minutes just hanging out. And then after they're done exploring, have them go in their supervised area, such as like a bathroom or kitchen that's blocked off with their awesome crate in it. So let's talk about crate training. Crate training isn't a bad thing. A lot of people think it's puppy jail. It's not puppy jail. A crate is like your dog's den or like his bedroom. So this is going to be a secure place that they can call their own. With puppies especially, you're gonna to wanna to get a crate that has dividers that your dog can grow into. This crate alone would be too big for a small dog, for a puppy. So we have a divider in here. Dogs actually like crates. It's like their den, their personal place. This is their bedroom. And you wanna always make it a positive experience. You never want to punish your dog by putting them in their crate for a timeout. Also, crates are really great because you put toys in them. You give them things to do while they're in their crate. This is a great place to put your puppy when unsupervised, especially because puppies are very destructive. When your dog's in the crate, look for signs that it's trying to communicate with you that it needs to go to the bathroom, such as whining, scratching at the crate, looking at you like he wants to get out a lot, um, and just take your dog outside to go to the bathroom if he gives you those signs. That's gonna communicate with the dog that if he gives you those messages again, that he's gonna go outside to go to the bathroom. I actually don't advise to use pee pads. Pee pads are those sheets that you use in the home to have your dog pee and poop on. But they can be really confusing for your dog because you want to teach your dog to go outside to go to the bathroom. So you might even get your dog peeing and pooping on rugs, on blankets. So I would suggest not to use them and just have enough time to take your dog outside to go to the bathroom. Accidents are bound to happen and you should only really punish them if you catch them in the act. So if you catch them, just say ah or no, grab them take them outside and have them go to the bathroom there. It's a very confusing if you try to punish them if they do it without catching them in the act. If you rub their nose in their poop and their pee, it's just gonna teach them to eat it. You didn't know that you weren't supposed to do that. You're confused, I know, don't even worry about it. If you follow our instructions perfectly, you should have a potty trained dog in a week. My name is Ferris and you're watching superawesomedogs.com. Thanks and check out more of our videos.